All members of the Builders Exchange are provided with a username and password to the website by MBEX staff. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and log on to the website with the username and password. After you log on to the website, we are brought to the desk pad page. This is the starting off point for finding projects on our website. Scrolling down, over here on the right hand side of the page, I'm going to call your attention to the current weekly bulletin link. That's going to pull up our weekly bulletin. It's an email that we send out to our members on a weekly basis. So on Tuesday evenings, our members are going to receive an email with news, things that are going on at the Builders Exchange and in the industry, as well as scrolling further down on this list, we find project information as well. I got the website, daily plans received. This is a list of the projects the Builders Exchange received. Right now, um, they list the projects, make them available to our members on the website, both the plans and specs, and then they post this list um, when they're done listing the projects, and our members can print this information um, to be able to stay on top of projects as they're coming in to the website on a daily basis. And those two tools are nice. We're going to be talking about filters later, both the weekly bulletin and the plans received. Um, are great tools in keeping up on projects, again, if they're coming into the Builders Exchange, but also making sure that your filters, once they're set up, is pulling up projects that you want to see. You're not missing out on anything and using those as a reference point for that starting out. Daily Addenda is the same concept as the daily plans received, only this is listing the projects that we received addenda for on that specific day. So again, useful tip on staying on top of information as it's put into our website on a daily basis. Moving up, we've got the quick search box. The quick search box is going to allow us to look up a particular project, or we can search by a keyword within the name, scope, and the notes of a project. So first, I'm going to start out by looking for a project based on project ID number. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a project ID number into the search field, hit search, and now what you'll see is the project's pulled up directly to the information that I've entered into my search field, and from here, I can access this particular project by clicking on the title of it or clicking on that expandable window to open up in a new browser tab. Coming back to the quick search box, if I want to search for a project type based on a particular keyword, I can go ahead, if I want to type in the word school into my search field, now I'm going to get a list of all the projects that have school in the title. And when we're looking with uh, keywords on the website, it's important to understand that the website is searching for keywords based on what's called the fuzzy search logic. It's kind of hard to explain, but what it's going to do is pull up information in the most logical way based on the keyword that we've entered. So we've got 15 projects that have pulled up uh, with school in the title or in the notes or the scope. If I want to perhaps search for things a little bit more expanded, type in the word roof and hit search. I'm going to go from 15 projects now to 37 projects. And what's interesting here is more projects. You see the word school in some of these projects. And when we scroll down, you're going to run across projects. Here's a perfect example right here. University of Wisconsin doesn't have the word school in the title, but we know that that is a school. And it's got the word roof in it. So there's the expansion and the logical fuzzy search results pulling up for us the things that we want to see on the website. Uh, moving up, we've got the bid calendar. The bid calendar would be a tool for our members to use. We're looking at project information both on a weekly and monthly basis. So when I click on view entire month, I've got the current month that pulls up in front of me with the option to go backwards or forwards through the current months. Before we move any further, I want to point out the different colors and how they're coded as far as the tools on the left hand side work and within the calendar. The green links are going to refer to all of the projects bidding those days, while the red links are going to refer to the track projects. So if I go over here and click on 22 for this date and scroll down to the bottom of the calendar, I've got all of the projects bidding that day. Again, I clicked on that green button right there within a date, and these are all of the projects bidding on that day. In here, if I choose the three red for track projects underneath the calendar, now I've got three projects that I'm tracking that day that are showing up underneath the calendar. So again, great way to keep up on the information as far as it relates to what it is that you want to see. Um, going through these right here on a step-by-step -step basis, the green seven is going to pull up underneath the calendar a listing of all of the projects bidding this week. So if I click on that and go to the bottom of the page now, I've got a list of all the projects that are out to bid this current week. Scrolling back up, the green 14 is going to show me all the projects bidding next week. And last, we've got the green 31 
all of the projects out to bid this current month now appearing underneath my calendar. Just like with the green links, the red links are going to work exactly the same. Just pull up the projects that are my track projects underneath the calendar now. So you'll see I've now selected the my projects that I've tracked out to bid this current week. Now once we've made selections with these tools right here, moving down we've got these little orange icons right here. Those are going to allow us to print what we've got on screen. So right now I've got my track projects bidding this week selected and I'm going to click on this little print icon with a little grid calendar next to it and what I'm going to get in front of me now is the concurrent month followed by at the end my list of tracked projects for this current week. If I go back to the website and click the just the print button now what I'm going to get is only the projects that I've selected on that menu bar on the left hand side of the page. So that helps keep uh, information that's nice and handy. I can print this page and know exactly what's going on uh, currently on that date, week, or month within the project information. Going back to the website, we are now going to take a look at this middle chunk on the page, the blue chunk m new project activity sense. I've got these buttons up here. I'm going to start out with the last login. And how this is going to work for me now is pull up projects in the system not based on what my company does or the type of work that I perform, but how the projects move on our website through the bidding phases. So when we find out about projects, a lot of times we find out about them when they're in the planning or design phase. So this window right here is going to populate the projects in the planning or design phase for me. Project comes out to bid, it's going to show up under here under this window. After the project bids, we try and find out who the low bidders were. Those projects are going to appear here. And then we close out a project with a contract award. Now, if you notice the little arrows next to all of these, that signifies that these are expandable windows for us to select. And once we've done that, we get a list of the new projects bidding since I last logged into the website. And from here, just like anywhere else on the website, I can click on the title of a project or the little blue expandable link to open up the project information in a new tab in my browser. Calling your attention then we're right at the last login button so that's going to tell us the information as it applies to these categories since the last time I logged onto the website. If I click the last 24 hours it's going to give me the same chunk of information but based on what's been entered into each of these categories in the last 24 hours. So when I click on this last 48 hours button what this is going to do is pull up a list of all the projects that have been entered into the database in the last 48 hour time frame. And again, that would apply to any one of these categories. So contract awards, in the last 48 hours, we've entered um, contract awards for 12 different projects. There's the project name and then the information as it applies to it listed underneath. The custom field is an interesting way for our members to customize the reports that are pulling up. Say if I want to pull up a list of contract awards that bid back in, April, in August, since August 1st, I can either select that from the calendar or type in the date. Now once I've done that, once I've entered contract awards, selected the date, I can hit show projects and now I'm going to get a list of all the projects that the staff reporters have entered into um, the website as contract awards and the correlating information with that. So, so it's a great way to stay on top of the information uh, in a way that you can navigate through at a time frame that's convenient for you. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial video. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or visit mbex.org forward slash tutorial for a printable version of this tutorial. MBEX would like to thank the sponsors of this video, the Builders Group, Johnson, Adolphs and Peterson Construction, Market and Johnson, Scaffold Service, Sheet Metal Connectors.